flyer, a color flyer page where people can print them. In fact, Aaron can do it. He can go get on Douglas's computer right now, grab all those images we made for the T-shirt. We'll put free flyers up so you can print them off. We'll put it up, make them, and put them everywhere. That's it. I'm launching the operation in Austin. You, you, I, I'm going to be on TV, YouTube, putting them up. I'm going to stand up against your political correctness and your attempt to chill free speech and kill our country. <clears throat> I mean, in the U.S. and England, they're putting cameras in people's houses, the CPS is, just saying, new parents, you have CPS watching you. You're guilty till proven innocent. They're having the Army. His health care plan in Section 163 allows government real-time access to bank accounts, just like in Europe where they debit. Total control, end of all freedom. You bet he's a New World Order joker. I mean, his his science head is a eugenicist saying sterilize, get rid of black people, get rid of the Hispanics, get rid of Asians, sterilize everybody in the U.S., take everybody's kids at birth, eco-science. You heard Ron Paul talk about it. It's real. We got the book scanned up at Infowars.com. This is real. You're the racist bastards. Just like Margaret Sanger said, we'll hire blacks to sell the blacks on being sterilized. That's all he is. Just like they'd hire Native American leaders to sell out their own people. That's what he is. He's the real racist. He's the globalist. He's the guy that expanded and doubled funding for forced abortions in China and Africa. Because his White House science chief calls for it. That guy's getting rid of black babies. But because he's 6.5% African, you love him. They put a black face on the New World Order. Everybody was ready for revolution under Bush, but they put a black face on the New World Order. And everybody's like this. I guess KRS-One supposedly racist? No, he's not here to get pimped or chumped or scammed. And neither am I. I see through all your propaganda and your bull. I want freedom for everybody. I told you they put him in to create racism. So when people didn't want his agenda, they would say they were racist to get blacks and minorities freaked out and everybody fighting with each other. So when they bring in the swine flu and the tyranny and there's riots, they can make it racial. He's a race pimp and his controllers are pimping out racism and creating racism in the name of stopping it. Bring Aaron in here. Uh, please, I want to make sure it's done. I want to make sure that we take all those big images we made with in info wars and fascism and other things. Because he was more of a fascist than even a socialist. It'd be bad enough he was stealing the money and giving it to people to control him. They're stealing the money, giving it to offshore banks. So Tarpley's like, you should make it fascism. He's more fascist. And, and I agree with Tarpley. So we've got one of those for sale, too. Do me a favor. I know uh, uh, Douglas is off. Uh, I just want to give you specifically these, these directors, please, sir. I know Douglas is off doing shoots right now for the film some b-roll go get off his computer or call him the uh the the obama fascism image we use for the t-shirt but just the, just the image the big image the obama socialism the obama info wars and put them up in color to be downloaded so people can get a color copy or even a white copy and plaster them we're not going to be intimidated we're going to go out today or tomorrow We'll go to Kinko's, have a thousand of these printed. The whole office will go out. We're going to go out with staple guns and put them all over power poles. And I'm sure cops will try to stop us. I mean, we've got videos of armored vehicles slamming over curbs, jumping out in D.C. You just experienced this, running up saying you're not allowed to hand out flyers against health care at the park. And saying, I will arrest you with hand on gun. That's a separate guy. We have that video. Young Americans for Liberty, D.C. police SWAT with subtitles. Because the audio is not good. I mean, dude, this is crazy. Tell folks. I don't know if you're going to have that video ready on time. It ready. Oh, it is ready. Aaron, 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 sit down before we play this video and then take a few calls. Because this is what I mean, folks. Tyranny isn't just them announcing Army and Marines to be on the streets for drunk driving and checkpoints and for counties that are collapsing. The martial law is everywhere we go now, even Austin, cops come up and say, turn your cameras off. Or you can't stand here with a sign. D Permits are for standing and blocking streets when people wanted to have a Macy's parade. Then they expanded that, like 501c3 for churches. Didn't exist till the 50s. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, preventing the free exercise thereof. But then from that, they said you can't have a church without a government permit. You had... Over and over again, cops come up, security guards threaten you, saw doing it to families, Cub Scouts, you said. And then you had a security guard at the World Bank say, I, we're going to play the audio and video, but you, as soon as you, he sees you take the camera off, he thinks it isn't on. And he says, you know, I killed a lot of people in Iraq, uh, you know, one too many. Well, maybe not one too many. He's saying you, one too many. And he says, like, it's okay that he just threatened you. I got a bronze star. My job is you're now an Iraqi. You're now a Fallujah slave. 
I mean, describe what it was like in D.C. I mean, we have literally hundreds of these on video. Yeah, I talked with Burmese about this for an hour the other day, but there were so many examples I didn't cover them all. Out of 30, 40 monuments, we must have got harassed 15, 20 times. And here at the IMF, my right to film, uh, I just asked this guy real quick uh, if he mind if I film the logo because he's standing right there. Made very clear I wasn't filming him or doing anything to him. But he decided to make it about himself, walk into the frame, and then once he thought I wasn't filming anymore, he kind of made this veiled threat about killing Kind of made a veiled threat. Yeah. You better not film this. I killed a lot of people in Iraq, one too many. Well, maybe not one too many. You said he was getting in your space yeah, he when said that happened. He may not want to film me. I killed too many people in Iraq. Well, maybe just enough. And that's it. See, they now get to have the status and rule. And, of course, this guy happens to be black. If you say you don't want somebody doing a veiled death threat, you don't like blacks now. Of course, we got a white guy pulling up with an armored vehicle jumping out to kids saying you can't hand out flyers in America. And they say no free speech. And he goes, he goes, yeah, we probably won't have time to play the video, but it's up on InfoWars and Prison Planet. Uh, Young Americans for Liberty, just YouTube that. It comes up. And he's got the hand on the gun in the armored vehicle. And he's just going, God, I mean, it's like, I can't believe you're handing flyers out in America. You don't do that, boy. I mean, it's like, we're ready to roll, you Iraqi. So uh, let's go ahead and play the clip of Aaron being given a veiled death threat for daring to film the World Bank that's sucking America dry. Now, did you hear that? I killed one too many people in Iraq. Well, I, I didn't kill one too many. Maybe just enough. Maybe just, just like, you want to film in America on a sidewalk? I kill people. Your bank account belongs to me. They told us it's our time. And let me tell you, you go anywhere in America, they walk up and they go, cops, doesn't matter. They go, we're going to plant bombs on you. We're going to put you in jail. We're going to say you're a terrorist. That's right. The terror lets us take over. And now the flu going to let them take over. And don't you speak out against it or you're anti-American. White Al-Qaeda. Yeah. I guess you're white Al-Qaeda, Aaron. Anyone with a camera basically is in D.C. No, no, it's everywhere now. Yeah. yeah. You guys said in Philly they were coming up to you. You can't film Independence Hall in a park. They walk over. What are you doing, slave? I can't believe you're filming in America. What do you think? This is America? <laughs> You know, I haven't even played the video of the cops framing the girl. Have you seen this? No, Go ahead and pull that up. A cat jumps out. She wrecks. Doesn't hurt anybody. The cops get there. And the cop rams into her. So he's going to frame her for it. And he frames her and then comes and gets in the car and says, she goes, is everything? And he goes, oh, I'm going to take good care of you, honey. Don't we? He didn't even tell her she's going to be framed at the station. Just like she's not even a human. He's going to frame her and it means nothing. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Because he works for foreign banks and it's his time. He killed people in Iraq. He gonna do it here now. Go ahead. Here it is. Come here, man. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. show you. I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna. Okay. Give it, we're, we're, we're gonna. We're gonna bend this a little bit because okay. he's drunk. So it is what it is. Hey, you. you you're the, well, I mean, I'm not. Gonna, I don't. You're the expert. I don't want to make things up ever. That's right. wrong. But right. if I gotta, if I need to bend a little bit to protect the cop, I'm done. Right here, man. You see the angle of her car? You yeah. See the it's like this? Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to worry that she's in the left-hand lane. Okay. Uh -huh. and that she, when, okay. the, when the cat jumped out, she abruptly cut over this lane and slammed on the brakes. Okay. Because of the look. angle of the crash, his, his is over here, okay. hers is on that side, and the angle fine, of the man. crash. Oh, I'll make sure Andre gets you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's fine. Andre! All right. All right. All right. Their wallet or cell phone. Just give me your basic hand. I want to get it. Andre, come here a minute. Little Walt Disney to protect the cop because it wouldn't matter because she's drunk anyway. You see the angle in her car? You see where the collision is? No problem. Did you, you've, already, you've already taken photographs? Yes or no? Yes. Well, is there any way, this is what I want to articulate, that 
he was in this lane and cut over his leg. Okay, that's what it looks like. Because at the angle of his damage thing, yeah, I was going to shot over this way. What I tried to do is when I had on camera talking about the cat, 